isn't contracting so well. And in fact, this valve is dysfunctional because there's a tear in the valve structure caused by this heart attack, which is why he was in shock. Now, if we took him to the cardiac cath lab, we would do an angiogram, which would show something like this. This is an artery of the heart called the right coronary artery, and this is a very tight, complicated lesion or blockage caused by atherosclerosis in that artery, and this is what caused his heart attack. Now, if you were to have looked at this by taking the artery out under a microscope, you'll see a picture similar to this over here, whereby the artery should normally be wide open like a hole, but instead this is filled with calcium and lipids and fat and uh, all kinds of stuff that clogged up that artery. Now, if you live in Boca Raton, the next question the patient would ask is for a second opinion. <laughs> so what me might tell him is, this is a second opinion. At first we thought you had something else. <laughs> now what causes hardening of the arteries or atherosclerosis? Well this is men mainly caused by cholesterol that is deposited in the wall of the arteries. And will lead into why cholesterol is such an important risk factor for heart disease. But cholesterol isn't the only part of the story. There are other factors that contribute to the wall which becomes vulnerable to a plaque like this developing. And typically, this cholesterol plaque, my light's not working so well, but on the bottom of that circle might develop over a period of time and it's in this shoulder region over here where the plaque ruptures and all of a sudden a blockage which might be a 30 or 40 percent or mild blockage will rupture a blood clot will form and the artery will become instantly occluded. Now this is a picture of what it might look like with a blood clot inside there. The lipid core ruptures, a blood clot forms, and the artery blocks up. Now what th that results in is what's called a heart attack. What you have is an artery, this is the heart, and it's a big muscle supplied by many arteries. Um, there are three major arteries, each with several branches. And if a blood clot were to form here, this part of the heart would suffer a heart attack or become damaged. And the, the earlier in that artery the blockage occurs, the more damage is done. Now, 20 years ago or 30 years ago, there wasn't much we can do for this. But this gentleman, Andreas Grunzig, was actually an Emory cardiologist who invented angioplasty. Cardiac catheterizations had been performed for a number of years, but in 1977 he decided, well, what would happen if you took a balloon, put it right into that blockage, and inflated the balloon? And what happens is you destroy the blockage and blood flow is restored to the artery. And that's really the number one treatment for a heart attack right now. Angioplasty, as it's called, is whereby you take that balloon, and this is an example of that same right coronary artery, and the blockage is right here. And when, when you inflate the balloon, you can actually open up the artery and restore proper blood flow. Now, if this is done early enough, you can avert any major damage to the heart, and the earlier it's done, the less damage you'll have, which is why it's extremely important if there are any symptoms of a heart attack to get to the hospital as soon as possible. After six or so hours, the damage is done.